mv setup command. You can use the mv setup command if you have a canvas size of your drawing, a specific canvas size of your uh, drawing. Let's say you have a paper size. Also, you can define the mv setup under this uh, key. If you search the mv setup set up command and press enter and it will give you a description of the mv setup command mv setup in model space you can set unit style drawing scale factor and paper size so you can create your paper size and scale factor and units also in mv setup so let's illustrate the use of mv setup so i'm going anywhere in anywhere in your workspace you can press mv setup set up and it will give you the tools here or the hint you can press enter and it will activate the command and it will ask you enable paper space for this i'm going to select no and i will choose the you can select by this or you can choose the or press the the arrow keys up and down so i'm going to choose the metric because I, because i'm going to use the measurement of metric so metric units enter now it will ask you the scale factor i will choose the there's an option here full is number one 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 is to five is number five and the rest you can press this value to in order to activate that the scale here but for this i'm going to create a full scale so press one select on this it will ask you enter the scale factor and press one so it's already there then press enter and it will and and it will ask you the paper width so i'm going to create a thirty thousand. 30,000 mm millimeter of width and press enter and the height of 15,000 so it will give you a rectangular shape of that measurement or paper size canvas where you de that you define which you can work with inside of the box so you can do that with the MV setup say you have some drawings here so when you when you print out it will can adjust the printing plot just to print on, within this uh, rectangular with the specific with the specific size that you that you configure so that's mv setup in autocad i hope this video tutorial helps you and if you have some clarification, you can ask in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.